Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to introduce you JSMAL CLI, which is a powerful CLI to create your new React projects and scaffold it using a standard folder structure. So let's see the standard folder structure of Recreate React App Package. This is the folder structure and you can see that here we have some files and two folders, public and src. And after we create a new React project, we always do our works and implement our components and the other files inside src folder. But it was a problem for me and every time I was creating a new project, I should do a folder structuring and create some folders or copy them from another project. So I decided to automate this process and I've created a fascinating and powerful CLI and I decided to make it public so I published that on NPM website and now you can use it. So let me show you the uh, way it's working and how it, uh, it can be used. You can see that we have this simple CLI and it will uh, show you what options you can choose and after you uh, select one of them you just need to input the project name and it will create the project for you. So let me show you the process of the CLI working. This is the uh, package page on NPM website and you can see that you can use this package simply using this command npm small and in order to use it you need to run this command but because you want to use it on some different uh, folders you can use dash g switch here to install it globally so you need to run npm dash g small and after that you can use jsmall in it and it will work so, so let me show you this uh, for example, here in drive F, I will open a new terminal. First of all, I want to see if this uh, CLI is installed or not. So I said npm list dash g to see my global package on the system. You can see that I have Angular, Nest, Type, and others. Oh no, I don't have JS1 writer. So I say npm i dash g JS small to install this CLI on my system. Okay, install. Let me clear my screen using CLS. Well, uh, now I have access to this package if I say JS small dash dash version. It says that JS small is installed and is recognized. Uh, how can we use, uh, I say, JS small in it and it says that select your template what template you need to use and i will uh, choose this uh, react raw and react type scheme so first one is react raw i in uh, using this i press enter so it says that select your project name in lowercase you know that in npm package you need to use lowercase names so i say that for example admin js test and i need this project and i press enter uh, so after this just two simple steps it will start to initialize a new project so i need to wait to install this uh, package and it depends on your internet connection speed so i will speed up the video in order to stop wasting your time and after finishing the installation we will continue well our project mm, finished and you can see that our initializing was successful and after that the cli added some folders and files for now it's just folders and the files will be added on the uh, later versions you can see that i have assets asset image fonts art components and some other folders now uh, let's see what we've done uh, right now i say dir to see the entire content of this folder i have this admin js test so cd admin js test code dot to open this project in vs code now you can see that we have a new react project 
in a standard folder structuring we just have these two folders public and src but we have added a new folder named doc here and a new folder named test here and these two folders are outside of our src and in our main root directory and also in src folder we have added some uh, new folders which we'll be uh, using when we are creating a new react project and it's for uh, great projects you need to have some folder structuring you can see that i have for example this asset uh, and i have these two folders inside my asset folder fonts and images and then i have this out folder and i have this components folder in which i have general and i have home this general will be used for your general components which are not related to some special component and uh, this home uh, i will explain this later this core can be used for anything you want to be as a core of your project and are not uh, depends on just your project for example like some special services some loggers some other functionalities that can be related to uh, the other projects and you can use them here as a core of your project and the next one is the page folder you can use it for uh, paging when you are using react rotterdam it's better to have page components and uh, ordinary components and this home here is related to this because we uh, usually we use a home component in order to be as our root component and on the later updates, I will add components to this folder structure and it will be more obvious. The next folder is Redux and you can see that I have Redux folder here and Router folder, Services folder and Utils. So this is the folder structuring I've created using this CLI and it uh, helps you a lot of time in order to stop wasting your time for copy pasting folders from another a project and sometimes you copy wrong uh, folder sometimes you forget to add a folder but this is in my opinion just a standard way to creating new projects and also you can use react typescript projects and create them with this cli let me show you this so this time we need to create a typescript project using this cli so I, uh, I want to create a new project but because I'm here on admin.js test folder it will create this project here in this folder uh, but I don't want my project to be here so I say cd dot dot to get back to my f uh, drive here I will run my command again which was js small init and here this time I use this React and TypeScript scaffolding uh, the template and it says I select the project name. I say for example admin uh, ts and this time I need to use this name and I press enter it will start initializing our project. I increase the video speed again and it's done. So uh, let's check the logs here we can see that initializing a started please wait was successful and after that the cli added some folders and files for us and again for now it's not any file it's just folders and the files the scaffolding will be added on the next updates so we can see that we have the same folders here assets asset image assets uh, fonts also the others and here the difference is this uh, types folder because now we are using typescript we can have this types folder again so uh, let me open the project in vs code i say cd admin ts and code dot to open in vs code no this is a react typescript project you can see that this public and src are the standard folders i have this doc and this test folder here and also in src again we have the same folders here like assets and font image art content uh, components core pages redux router services utils and here because this is a typescript project we also has 
this types folder and we can use these folders so this was the introduction of this package and i hope this package helps you it will be updated and in the next uh, updates i try to add some new files to it and also i will create some new projects and some new scaffolding to them and it can be uh, i think in my opinion it can be a good tools for you when you are creating a new react project i hope this helps you let me know if there is any uh, comments any opinion or any issues and thank you goodbye